The victim known as Peaches and her little girl are the only known black victims in the Long Island serial killer investigation. Peaches is officially known as Jane Doe number three, and she's been dead at least 25 years. A hiker found a woman's torso in this green Rubbermaid container on June 28, 1997, inside Hempstead Lake State Park. This Peaches tattoo was observed above the victim's left breast, and a C-section scar revealed she had once given birth. In April 2011, Peaches' extremities were discovered in the brush off Ocean Parkway in Jones Beach. DNA and gold jewelry tied Peaches to a toddler skeleton found 10 miles east on Ocean Parkway. Ten sets of remains east and west of Gilgo Beach were linked to the elusive Long Island serial killer known as Lisk. Peaches and her daughter are the only known black victims in the case. A key development didn't happen until May 2020. Today we are announcing that Jane Doe number six has been positively identified. Then Suffolk County Police Commissioner Geraldine Hart revealed victim Valerie Mack was finally identified after the FBI used Genetic Genealogy, a public DNA website, to find Mack's relatives. Hunters had found Mack's torso in the year 2000 in the woods of Manorville, and her extremities were discovered 11 years later, 40 miles to the west off Ocean Parkway. Now it looks like the FBI is hoping for similar success with Jane Doe number three, Peaches. Suffolk County Police Commissioner Rodney Harrison confirmed the FBI has a slight lead which led agents to Mobile, Alabama. And this post recently appeared on the Facebook page for the Mobile Police Department. Quote, the FBI is seeking relatives and friends of Elijah Leish Howell Howard. Mr. Howard lived in Pritchard, Alabama with his wife Carrie and passed away in Mobile, Alabama in 1963. Adding, his relatives may be able to assist in the case of a woman and child found in another state. The post continued, does this tattoo look familiar? And featured a photo of the tattoo on the Gilgo victim's chest. Peaches and her daughter are the only Jane Doe's not identified yet in the Gilgo case. A man's skeleton found wearing women's clothing has not been identified either.